Okay, so in this video, uh, I'm going to go over, uh, let's do an example of um, for each on turtles. So um, you can go ahead and open up either a zip slash jar. Uh, so that might be the book classes turtle jar. <clears throat> now, if you already have a folder that's called that, it'll give you an error. Just hit OK. Go over to project, open project and just click on the book classes turtle, turtle starter and you could click select folder but since i'm here i'll just be doing this okay so now what we want to do is we want to add a new class and i could do all my um, for each uh, turtle examples here <clears throat> well, i'll just say for each turtle and click okay all right so now that we've created this class, uh, we can double click on this. And I'm just going to delete all these so that we don't have too much to read. I'm going to delete everything except for public class for each turtle. Okay. I'm going to type in public static void, uh, or sorry, main <clears throat> string brackets arcs. Okay. So what do we want to do in this uh, in this main method? Well, let's go ahead and make a few turtles, right? So let's go ahead and make a few turtles, and we're going to put them inside a an array. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and do that, and then come back to see if you got it right. Okay, so let's try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a turtle named Alex, okay, and I'll make a new turtle, right, and now we actually need a world, right, so right now I need a world, <clears throat> so world w, uh, you can call it whatever, right, like you can call it earth, or you could call it like <clears throat> turtle world, things like that, I'm just going to call it w for the sake of um, simplicity. I'm going to put W in here. All right. Now I can do multiple, right? So I'm going to have Angela. I'm going to have maybe <coughs> John. How about this? Jack and Jill. There you go. Okay. So we have four turtles. Now we want to put these turtles inside a and array. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we know that for arrays, we need to do, we need to type out, well, we need to give it a type, right? So turtle arrays. So we need turtle square brackets. And then we'll have, maybe we can call it turtle list or you can call it turtles, whatever, right? Uh, I'll go ahead and just say turtle array actually. And let me full screen this and what do you need to do next well turtle array is an object so we have new and then turtle array and then we're just going to go ahead and put them in here now does the order matter does it matter that i put all these in here in this exact order no right like for example, I can move Angela later over here, and this will be perfectly fine. Okay, so right now, how about let's compile? Right, I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit, and I'm just going ahead and compile all these and run void main on this. Okay, so this new uh, world is going to open up, and it seems like uh, there's only one turtle. So what's happening, right? So remember that uh, each turtle, if we want to have four of them, then uh, we gotta um, we gotta specify which coordinates we want them to be at in order to see all four of them, or else they will all spawn at the same point. Okay. So let's let's do that, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, set y to 
320. So I'm just going to copy this. Paste, paste, paste. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one that's at 10. We'll make one at uh, 120, let's say. Make one at uh, 240. I'm gonna make one at uh, 360. Okay, there we go. So now we have four turtles, each at different X coordinates, but they're, but they're on the same Y coordinate. Okay, so compile, right click main, hit okay. And there we go. So now we have four turtles. And we want all of them, right, to say, okay, like, we're going to say, you know, Alex dot turn. Let's, okay, let, let's do this, right? So, yeah, let me actually do this. So forward, um, uh, let's say 50, and then Alex dot turn right 50 and then angela dot forward 50 so i'm gonna have to like change this so many times right so again the way we can sort of um oh this is not i think oh turn right sorry no, we don't need that so turn right will just automatically turn by 90 degrees um so the way we can sort of optimize this, right, is to replace these instances, these uh, variable, these object variables, these instance variables uh, <clears throat> into just one thing, which we say, okay, well, we're going to have one turtle instance or turtle object, and that'll be set to Alex first, okay, and now, I'm going to replace all these with turtle. Now, what is expected to happen here? So what's ha what will what will this code do? Pause for a minute and sort of think about that. So what's going to happen here is turtle is going to point to Alex, right? So turtle is going to point to Alex. And now turtle.forward means the same thing as alex.forward, right? And then alex.turn, right? Now, what's going to happen here is turtle is still going to be alex. So it's still going to move alex forward and still going to move um, alex <clears throat> right, or turn alex to the right. So I don't want that, right? What we want is to reassign turtle here And I'm actually just going to copy this. And now I don't have to change any of these turtles because turtle is just an alias for whichever one, whichever uh, turtle we want to move forward and turn right, right? So now that we have this, let's compile that. Right click here, click on main. And you can see that they all move forward once and all turn right, right, and that's as expected. So now, again, how do we refine this? How do we optimize this with for each loops? Well, take a look at this syntax, right? And let me let me full screen this. So you can see everything. So um, the way we want to optimize this is to say, all right, so we're going to use a for each loop. Right. And the hint to what should we put here is we should first declare that placeholder that will use, that will be used to hold every one of these turtle instances. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, basically, I, all I need to do is write this. Right. We need to define that placeholder that will hold each of these turtle instances. Okay. And then we need a colon. And then we need to take uh, from this list, for, from this array. So we need to specify which array we're, going, we're iterating over. So now, 
basically we're saying, okay, for each turtle in the turtle array, we're gonna do what? So we're gonna move forward and we're gonna turn right. Whoops. Okay. And now, since it's complaining about turtle, let's just comment this out once again. Now, if we compile, it will do the same thing as we just did. And that's awesome, right? Like, we moved every turtle. So, first we moved Alex, then we moved Jack, then we moved Angela, then we moved Jill, right? So, each one of them did this. Okay. So, now, how about let's draw let's have them draw a square right how can we do that okay so the way we do that is we can copy this four times okay so now that we can copy this four times let's compile that void main click ok and they're all each drawing the square Okay, so this is really how you use for each loops um, in terms of turtles. Now let's try to draw memory diagrams for this, right? So let's go over here. And so we have a bunch of turtles and we say, okay, so we have, what do we got? Uh, this is not letting me do this. Okay, so we, we have these four turtles and I'm just going to draw that out whatever what word is okay and i'm going to so remember we have our simple memory and then we have our sort of complex memory area okay now what do i do i need to draw four squares Okay, and actually I'm going to use a different color for each of the turtles. Hopefully these two colors are uh, easy enough to tell apart. Okay, and so now each, each one of these points to an actual turtle. Right? So let me actually just draw... Um, <clears throat> Uh, let me see. Okay, let me. <clears throat> I should have put more space down here as well. Let me try moving these up a little bit <clears throat> so we have space for the array. But now, okay, so now we have this kind of thing where we say, okay, so we have this. So here's me, right? Here's Angela, here's Jack, and here is Jill. Okay, so since we sort of arranged them in an array, right? So we put them inside this turtle array. And actually, I'm gonna switch this real quick since we're drawing the turtles in that order. So we have, we're gonna allocate a turtle array. That points to this array object, right? And then we have Alex basically pointing over here. Um, Angela pointing over here. So that's kind of how it looks like, even though it's a mess, but we'll stick with this for now. And so what's next, right? So what is next? Um, now we go over here and we scroll down to this for each loop, okay? And now inside the for loop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna 
move around. Okay, so inside this for loop, uh, I don't know which color I haven't used yet. Let me try that one. Okay, so inside the for loop, the for each loop, I should say, uh, we have a variable called turtle. So in here, in this kind of, um, you don't, I guess you don't have to worry about this whole box here. I'm just sort of sectioning it to make it clear. But inside this for each loop, we have turtle. And the for each loop is going to first point it to basically Alex, right? So it's first going to point to Alex. And so what is, so when you do turtle dot forward, what you're really saying is, okay, well, I'm going to look at what is point, or what is being referenced or what is being pointed to by turtle. And that goes to Alex. So this means Alex goes forward by 50. <clears throat> okay. And now it's just doing the same thing. So now it's going to do turn right. Now keep doing this right four times. So we'll keep repeating this four times. Now in the second, in the second iteration of the loop, we instead of pointing to Alex, right, we're going to point to over here to our second turtle, which is Angela. And now instead of Alex, that is going to be Angela right there. And there you go. Right, so the turtle named Angela is also going to move forward and turn right, you know, however many times to make a square. Right, the third iteration, it's going to point to the blue J. Uh, no pun intended, uh, the blue J. So instead of Angela, that's going to be Jack right there. Okay. And then lastly, we have Jill. So that's really how sort of like the um, diagram works in terms of turtles. And then in class, we're going to look at how we do this with pixels and how we manipulate pictures.